Welcome to 3 Minute Pro. How do I digitize negatives taken on my Mamiya 645 using a bottom of the range Olympus EM10 Mark II? This is my workflow. Here's my setup for digitizing film. You can see here I've got a camera on a firm tripod. I've got a 60mm macro lens and I've got a digitalizer film holder and a Kaiser Daylight Balance Light Table. These are the settings for my camera for all of the scans. I set the ISO to the lowest possible ISO to get the best quality. On this camera it's 200 ISO. I set the white balance to daylight to match the Kaiser Light Table and also make sure it's consistent through all of the exposures. I set the focus to manual so that the focus is consistent for all the pictures. I set a short delay, that way there's no camera shake during the exposure from where I've tripped the shutter. I only shoot in RAW because I don't want unnecessary JPEGs cluttering up the hard drive. And I turn off image stabilisation because the camera's on a tripod. I focus manually. I zoom in using the LCD screen and then I focus as finely as I can looking at the grain on the image. Now I set the exposure. I set F8 so there's plenty of depth of field and I use the histogram to get the exposure right. I include a bit of the negative that's outside of the picture frame. That's clear film and that's as light as the negative is able to go and that is the peak on the right of the histogram. I change the exposure so that peak on the right of the histogram goes as far to the right of the histogram as possible. That gives me the right exposure. Now I set manual and I transfer those settings again. So it's a half of a second at F8. Setting it manually means that the exposure is the same throughout all four of the scans of the negative. This is the 645 negative that we're going to scan. We're going to divide it into four scans, each taking up a quarter of the image. Each scan is going to be slightly larger than that quarter. So that gives an overlap between each scan, which the Lightroom software needs in order to stitch the, the images together. So we're going to do four scans, one quarter, then we're going to move the negative in the negative holder to do the next scan. Then we're going to move again until we've scanned all four quarters with some overlap. I line up the negative using the edge of the negative against the edge of the LCD screen to make sure that it's straight. I've loaded all four scans of the negative into Lightroom. I select all four scans and then I go to Photo, Photo Merge, Panorama. Then it creates the Panorama Preview. I choose the Perspective option for the projection as that gives the least amount of distortion. I pull Boundary Warp to 100% to pull the picture right to the edges of the file. I don't use auto crop, I don't use auto settings or create stack. Now I click on merge. After about 20 seconds, a DRG format image is produced, which has stitched all four of those scans together. The next stage involves removing the orange color cast from the negative. So I use the white balance sampler and I click on the edge of the negative outside of the picture. Now I have to crop out all of the areas outside the actual image. I use Negative Lab Pro to do the conversion. I file, Plugin Extras, Negative Lab Pro. I leave the default pre-saturation and I click on Convert Negative. You can see the colour's not right and it's quite bright. So I make my brightness adjustment I don't use auto color or auto density. I make adjustments to correct some of the casts. 
It can be difficult to get this right using these sliders. If you have problems with this, do what I do and create a TIFF copy to work from. So then you'll be able to use the normal Lightroom controls to make the adjustments. Now select the TIFF file that's been created. You can use the white balance sampler again and make a few adjustments on that to get it how you want it. Make further adjustments on the exposure. Now use the clone tool to remove any dust marks that are on the image. When you're ready, you can export this. You should have a roughly 52 megapixel image if you're using a 16 megapixel camera to do the scanning. That's my workflow for scanning 120 roll film negatives.